Hi everyone, welcome back to North Brabant in Farm Sim 15 as we are off to do some work with the animals. So I've just hopped into the uh, the class here with the Marshall trailer on took back and we are heading to do some mixed feed ration because I've got a suspicion that the animals are running a wee bit low. So let's just hop in there, get that filling up and we'll just check on how much we've actually got because I don't know Straw's okay, but grass needs to be topped up and um, silage probably needs to be topped up as well. Yeah, we could uh, get some more mixed, I think. Okay, fully loaded up, let's go. Now, since the last time, the last episode, I have speeded up time a wee bit. I think we've skipped forward one day. Uh, and the main reason behind that was I ran out of manure for the greenhouses. So... Okay, I've... Uh, forgot to drive <laughs> into the point I wanted to go which was the dairy shed no bother we can go in this way right so now let's see they've got some um, feed down there so let's just bring up the animal hud and the main hud and we'll drop this in here and see how much this yeah they've already got 50,000 liters in and uh, the remainder we'll take to the uh, the sheep and the pigs and the... They've, we've just emptied an entire trailer. I was not expecting that. Okay, clearly there is more capacity in here than I was expecting. Okay, so we've got another load. I thought one load would do it to be fair, but no. Nope. Uh, so once we've got the cows done, we'll also head over to the sheep and then we'll do a full circuit and get the pigs and um, beef cattle as well. We'll get another um, load sorted out now. So what we got? We got quite a bit of straw in there. That's okay. We need some grass, uh, and we're out of silage. Okay, so we need to do some topping up of that. Right. Let's um, cover that over for now. So today we're going to obviously get the feed sorted for the animals, uh, and then uh, we've got a few things to show you. We're going to do some um, stuff around the fruit, and. Uh, and a few other bits and pieces as well because there's a storm coming I'll show you in a minute uh, I'll show you now actually um, tomorrow we've got a storm coming so uh, with that in mind we got to do a lot of the stuff we need to do in the in the nice weather um, today so we're gonna get the f food is gonna be a priority we could do that technically tomorrow but um, I want to get it done today because we need to get our animals make sure they are uh, well stocked up, especially if it's going to be snowing, that they're going to have enough food to... Whoa! Sorry. The brakes on this are atrocious. Um, they're going to have enough food to uh, keep them going through the uh, the cold times, which should be good. There we go. The, uh, you can see the drive control, how it makes the the wheel marks on the, the field, which makes it look so authentic. I really like that. I think that's great. Um, so we got the can that's canola. This is corn, and that's sprouted obviously because we've accelerated time a wee bit since last time. Right. Okay, the van's going that way. We're going to hop this way to the see the sheep's, and uh, load up their feed. They got they got a bit in there which is okay, but if we can just uh, top that up, that would be grand. Brilliant. Uh, they've got water. We've got four bales on the the pallet there, which is grand. So they're doing nicely. Uh, so that's the cows and the sheep sorted. Now to go and look at the pigs and the beef cattle. And we'll take a drive down this part of the map, which we don't often visit. We don't often visit this part of the map. Um, so it's nice to have a little bit of a drive down here. The, uh, the AI traffic doesn't appear to come down here either, which is fine. Road all to ourselves, we can drive in the middle if we like. Okay, uh, so we'll just top up the feed for the uh, the pigs and the beef cattle, and we've got a few things, as I say, we've got things to do around the fruit, uh, and there's also a few uh, items we need to buy. I've been thinking about this, and uh, yeah, we definitely need to do a bit of um, shopping today okay so we'll go into the beef cattle shed first 
It's our lovely little beefs. Our young little beefs are there. Uh, so let's just top up the troughs. Brilliant. Still got 8,000 litres, so we're not going to need all of this. There's the front loader. And that's there for a reason. I came up here to collect the uh, the muck for the greenhouses. And there wasn't a lot of it, so uh, that's a bit disappointing. Right, let's just top this up in here. And the piggies, cool. Uh, so we've still got 7,500 litres of mixed ration. Now, rather than transport that all the way back, I've added a new mod to the map. So let me just bring ooh, bring this over here. And we'll go in here and we'll go to the uh, the mods, placeables, and it is more 2,000 placeable heaps. Um, now, I wanted to put it in the barn, but it, it won't let me put it in the barn. And it won't let me put it here. I tried this earlier. Um, so probably the best place is if we can probably dump it about... Uh, about uh, where will you let me put it? Somewhere here would be good. There. Can we put it there? Can't place it there, no. What about there? 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 There we go. It's place ladders place it there. Okay, it's not ideal, but it'll do. Uh, so all we need to do, straighten out the trailer a wee bit. And this should allow us to drop multiple different types of, well, it allows us to drop a type of fruit or manure or, or in this case mixed ration right there. Uh, and then we can use the front loader to scoop it into the, uh, into the troughs when we need to. Um, so that also brings rise to uh, one of the things we need to buy, more front loaders. Um, the reason being, I might need to get rid of this one anyway because it makes me slightly nauseous. But <laughs> um, but we need, we need a front loader up here to do the mucking out. Um, there's not a lot here at the moment, but once we get the, uh, the full pigs up in full production, yeah, 1200 litres we've managed to pick up from here. Uh, so we'll need a a front loader here to not only pick up the muck but also to move the food around as well when we pile it up. Because so, I don't want to keep driving all the way across the map with one front loader. It's just a bit of a pain. Uh, and the one here we can also put a bale fork on and we can uh, drive that up to the, the sheeps to collect the, the straw every so often. So we've got 2,500 litres of poo from over here. Now, I tried to collect some from that bin there, you can see some in there, but it, it, that didn't work earlier. So I think that's just like the default image to let you know that is a muck heap. Uh, and there was nothing in the one over there. Right. Perfect. Right, we'll switch that one off and we'll drive this with our muck over to the main farm and the greenhouses. Uh, so we'll leave that front loader there for the time being and that can do the food and the manure for that one. Uh, and then we'll get a new front loader for the main farm. Now, long term, I probably want a, a front loader at the, the grain silo as well. Um, and it brings up a question. Do we get a straight front loader or do we get a, a, a tractor stroke front loader as well? So we can potentially have another vehicle on the farm should we need it. Uh, I'm probably quite inclined to think about getting a tractor front loader. Now as we cut down this little lane to the farm, let's just stop here for a second and as I get out you can see our orchard is in full bloom. We got apples, we got pears, apples and pears, apples and pears all the way down there looking great. Our bees have done a fantastic job pollinating all the blossom. And then we've got our plum trees which are ripe with plums and our cherry trees which are burdened down with all the cherries which is great. So with the storm coming, of course bit of role play here the storm potentially could damage all our crops on the 
trees, so we want to be harvesting them today before the storm. Uh, we don't want any damage from windfall or, or the trees being damaged in the high winds and stuff. It may not necessarily be high winds, but with snow it adds weight to the branches and it can break them, can't it? Uh, and we just generally want to collect them before that happens. Can I get out in front of that car? Yes, of course I can. I'm a big tractor. Right, before we go to the greenhouses, let's just see if we can... Because we sped up time. And there should be, yeah, there's some muck in here as well. Okay, I'm not sure why that didn't register. Hello? Why won't you offload into my trailer? It's a bit weird. Hello? Okay, let's just drive around then. Maybe it, it doesn't didn't trigger that time for some bizarre reason. There we go, now it's triggered. That's a bit weird. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to get the fruit done today because of the, uh, the the storm coming and and probably next time when that storm hits uh, we can do all the, uh, the tasks that um, we don't need the nice weather to do. So for example we want to make sure the water's all topped up for the animals. Um, that's a good idea, especially if it's snowing, just in case the ice trough, uh, the troughs have iced over. So we want to make sure we can break that and get some water into the animals. So we'll do that next time. Also, I want to get the bedding done for the cows, the pigs, and the beef, the beef cattle, uh, and a number of other little jobs as well. Also, I've noticed that fields seven and eleven, we've cultivated it and fertilized, but it doesn't appear to have been seeded, which is a bit weird. Now, you can see there I've put, I've already put a, a heap pile and this is where we're going to dump all the manure. So rather than, you know, going back and forth, back and forth with a, a, a bucket full each time, we're basically going to dump all the manure there so we can just quickly look after the, um, the greenhouses, which should be great. Now, switch that off for a second. Let's hop over here. Now we want to get a front loader to do the main farm. Um, so in wheel loaders, 165,000. It's a bit hardcore for doing the greenhouses, isn't it? And that's the one we currently have, which is 100 and 195. Do we pay extra for that? Do we? Well, we could protect what we could. Oh, that's probably going to be a a swivel in the middle as well, then, isn't it? I don't like those ones. So we'll we'll leave those. Telehandlers are nice ones. 85 grand. Oh, it's a lot cheaper as well. Oh no, that's the one we've got, isn't it? 79 grand. We may upgrade, we may upgrade from that to this because I prefer these telehandlers. Um, we got the skidster for 49 grand. I think that'll be perfect for for in and around the, um, the greenhouses. Let's buy that with a bucket as well, great. Uh, do we have any mods actually? Tele wheel loaders? We have a new Holland, okay, part of the new Holland pack. 105 for the New Holland um, telehandle as well. Okay, well, we'll probably use the basic one because that's cheaper by about 25 grand. Um, okay, so that is the front loader sorted. Now, while we're here, let's have a look. Uh, so what we have got, we have this cider. I think it's a cider plant or a fruit and cider producing um, thing where we can put the fruit to um, all our different fruits but we also have two sale points for uh, orange, strawberry and pear and plum, apple and cherry and 10 grand so I'm going to purchase these and what I'm probably going to do is put these down where the processing plant, here's the processing plant here um, can I put these down here Not really. Can we put them outside the supermarket? Yes. Okay, great. We'll put them outside the supermarket because that makes sense. So when people go to Lidl to get all their bits and pieces, they can buy our fruit on the way out. Yeah, fresh fruit, lovely. Just the ticket. Fantastic. Okay. 
those have been purchased great uh, anything else we need yes there is one of the things we need is a fruit trailer to actually transport it similar to the seed trailer we have uh, we've got the the ROS the ROS plus and the Asher or Asher 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 I don't know how to pronounce that uh, ROS as well so um, that's eight pounds a day maintenance 90 horsepower tractor required 5700 litre capacity uh, then we've got the plus ROS which the only difference I can see is this one seems to be able to carry water but we've got water bowsers so it doesn't matter this one's 11,400 capacity same tractor and maintenance on that one and does everything but water this one has got the same fruit types it's an extra pound a day requires a hundred horsepower tractor same capacity uh, I'm probably gonna get this one because I don't like these little um, dollies on the front so we're gonna buy that one uh, sweet okay great I think we've got everything we need so let's hand over to the farm uh, and what we can do let's reset everything so we don't have to go and fetch it because that'll just be uh, time we could be doing something else with uh, reset that and we want to reset that brilliant boing there we are you pay all that money I expect them to be delivered so this is our little front loader skidster isn't she a adorable little thing uh, and this is the fruit ros crone tractor trailer sorry trailer um, looks a bit bad a bit second hand but that's fine it'll do a job and the good thing is of course it'll do any type of wheat manure anything you can load anything into that it's just a standard trailer used for anything um, but we'll probably be mainly using it for the fruit brilliant so here's our little um, JCB how does she handle Oh, brilliantly! She, we can donut her. Woohoo! Okay, I'm getting slightly sick now. Okay, um, <laughs> as if the other front loader didn't make us uh, nauseous. This one can as well if we spin around too many times. It's got a top speed of 12 miles an hour, it would seem, um, but that's okay. She's not going to be shuttling very far, just around the farm. So that's good. So we can use this to do the mixing wagon, uh, the, sorry, the mixing station, and also the uh, manure for the, the greenhouses. So this greenhouse here hasn't had any muck yet because we ran out. So I'm just going to top that one up, and hopefully that will be good, and uh, we can get that going. Now you can see the boxes of strawberries just sitting there, looking yummy, yum, yum. Let's just back this up. Oh, this turns really sharply. It's brilliant. I suppose it's such a short wheelbase, it would do. Can't see anything. I like the rear view mirror, that's quite neatly set in. Brilliant. Sorted. Right, we'll power that one off for now because that'll do. Well done. I'm loving that. The 260 Eco. Fantastic. Right, let's hop over to this tractor. And we'll collect the uh, this trailer here. Brilliant. Okay, now let's get the strawberries out of the way and then we can go and look at the uh, the orchard and uh, get some of that fruit down as well. So I think you can only collect one crop in this trailer at a time like every other um, trailer in, in the game. You can only have one fruit type in, in the actual trailer at a time. So, you know, you can't load it up with 50% um, strawberry boxes and then 50% apple boxes it doesn't work that way it has to be one or the other as you can see they're stacking in nicely okay 
15% full from those ones. 18,000 litres of strawberries. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Just got some money come in from somewhere. That probably the um, the money from the lettuce or the tomatoes or indeed the, the, the honey from the bees. So that's pretty cool. We've also got 13,500 litres of milk which we can sell. Again, that's something we can potentially do when the weather's not so good. Almost finished. There we go. 33% full of strawberries. 3,779 litres of strawberry goodness. Brilliant. This farm is really coming along nicely now. Um, as I say, these two fields in front, the two dark brown fields, it looks like we've cultivated, well, we've worked them. Um, Uh, fertilized them but we didn't seed them for some bizarre reason or they didn't seed I thought we had but clearly not right so let's drive down to Lidl and see if we can sell some of this fruit Erdbeer Erdbeer right which one's this this one does apples, cherries, and plums. So this one must be pears, strawberries, and oranges. Fantastic. So we'll pull up here and is it Q? It's Q. There we go. Oh, we've uh, we've maxed it out. Okay. So we sold some strawberries there, and I guess we'll sell the others at the uh, this place here. That say on that it just says something. I just noticed it says something over here. Oh, opening hours: Monday to Friday, nine till eight; Saturday, eight till six. Okay, we're we're good either way. And yep, there's strawberries third bin. So if we unload them there. Oh, sorry, Q. Ah, we didn't get any money for that. Maybe it takes time for be for it to be processed. I don't know, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, but we didn't make any money, interestingly. Right, so let's head over to the orchard. Speaking of cider and stuff, that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I'm heading over to my parents. It's Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday morning. I'm heading over to my parents this afternoon where, for Sunday lunch. And then we're going to be um, squishing apples and processing them for our cider. Right, let's see if we can get... These apples should... Uh, we just drive under them? Yes, they're starting to fill up with apples. Yes, so they are. Okay, nothing was happening for a second, but it takes a while. Obviously, picking apples, I can, I can actually confirm that. Picking apples is an absolute pain in the backside, and I will be doing that this afternoon, getting them off trees. Obviously, you can get the the uh, stuff that falls down anyway, but. Okay, we probably get all the apples easily. Easy, easy, easy. So you don't get that many from each tree, we would seem. Let's get this one in the corner. A bit of coffee while they're they're loading up. Brilliant. Okay. So there's four trees done. Let's do the trees down this side, shall we? So this one can be next. And then we should have we have, we should have a whole mixture. That's a pear tree. That's a apple. <coughs> okay. I should have done these in in chunks, like I did the the plums and the uh, 
the cherries so we uh, we know exactly um, the areas are designated but it's not bad harvest it's not bad harvest that one two three four more trees I think let's wait till they stop collecting uh, 20 26,000 uh, sorry 2,600 liters which is not too bad oh there's another trio of heads. I did I see that trio did I, I not count that last time I don't know Okay, two more trees after this one, and we are golden. Brilliant. Fantastico. So we'll do the same. We'll sell what we can at the... Um, the store and then we'll uh, put the rest into the the plant the processing plant and that's good so we've got 427,000 thousand still which is great we, which means we really can buy the uh, the front loaders that we need uh, also I want to get some we'll start paying off a bit of the loan as well actually because we've got quite a big big loan all that we owe, which is never a good thing. Quite a bit of uh, wheat and, and stuff in the uh, in the yard. It'd be nice if we could start selling that if we get some uh, high demand coming in. Right, so was this one apples? Yes it was. Oops, not quite in this the zone okay why why can't I have unload into these ones not close enough maybe there we go has to be really close on that one and it's full okay Let's spin round in little once again and we'll take these to the processing plant. So we'll head in here and get these sold off. Where's apples? Apples. Second one. Again, no money that I can see. Wait, can I? No. Wondering if I could reload them back in. Maybe it was just like a storage area, but. Okay. Brilliant. So that's the apples and the strawberries done. Done, 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 done. Done, done, done. Um. Yes. So what actually I might do is we got the skidster, we got the front loader up at the pigs. Now what I might do is get what I'm thinking about is getting a uh, a tractor with a front load cap capability because a third tractor would be useful as well. Uh, let's get, I'm going to get some cherries because I fancy getting some cherries while I debate this. Oh, look at these. Beautiful cherries. Look at them. Mmm. -mm -mm. And these are a lot quicker to uh, to harvest as well. Brilliant. Just what we needed. Yeah, I definitely did this bit of the the, um, the orchard a lot better than the uh, the apples and the pears.
Brilliant. And that's the cherries. <laughs> Picked. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so the pears and plums to do. We won't do them. Well, I'll do. I'll do the pears and the plums off offline. So yeah, you get the gist. I'm pretty sure you get the gist going on there. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of other things that I want to do, which I won't do now. We'll leave it for another episode. But um, I'm going to get out in front of him. Woo! Uh, we can d certainly tell you about our plans going forward. So I'm going to get a front loader with a, a, tr a tractor with front loader capability um, because I think that'll be useful. Full stop. That took up all the cherries, that one. Brilliant. Okay, let's just spin around here. Uh, I'll just pull off to the side here for a second. Um, and I'll go into the shop. So, w what we're probably going to get is probably one of the. St I think these are the, the styres can do um, front loading, can't they? So, we'll probably get one of these 114 horsepower. Um, It'd be just a useful little tractor to have around the farm, I think, uh, rather than just a front loader, which you can just front load. Um, that's the little New Holland one. Oh, the Stoll Manure Fork, which is with the FC30 or the 750. Uh, 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 a? A, 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 A? So which ones did they go? So that one is the front loader, that's for definite. Sorry, let's have a look at that again. So this is for the, uh, the Steyr Multi, um, sorry, the Steyr Multi 4115. Yes, I was I was right. And the New Holland um, 74 or the, the T66160. This can have a front loader. Now that's probably more like it. I know it's a bit more expensive, but that's a proper tractor. Uh, so we're potentially going to get that, a proper tractor, and that'll be good. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, one of the other things I was going to get was one of these. 26 grand, and then what we can do is start planting the woodlands, so we can do some more um, lumber, which should be good. Now lumber takes forever and a day to grow. So um, we're, we're not quite near the Ponzi. So I want to get that for 26 grand and then we're going to do a combine upgrade. And now I'm thinking probably, so we've currently got a 4,200 capacity. I think a jump to the case would be a good start. So I'm probably, next time we'll probably get the case. We'll sell that, we'll get the case. Um, we need to get the headers as well, which sort of one of those, and it does have a a corn cutter as well, which is great. So we're gonna get a new combine, we're gonna get a new tractor, and we're gonna get a new um, seeding implement, I guess, for the for the woodland stuff, and that'd be good. Also, a a liquid <laughs> manure manure spreader would be good, or slurry spreader, if I could stop choking. Also, I want to get into baling. So, um, maybe at 45 grand for an auto stacker. Um, uh, with the that one, it's 100. We'll, we'll, we'll leave bailing for a bit, I think that's a bit expensive. Uh, we'll just use the forage wagon for now, but yes, so that is the ideas going forward. I'm sure you'll probably agree with me that a new combine, a new tractor, and uh, the, the forestry thing is going to be a good bit of kit. Then we're going to save up for the Ponzi, and so we can do some good forestry stuff. Um, get lots of lumber, and uh, it'll all be good and groovy. Cool. Right, so that's all I was going to say, really. Uh, I'll, I'll finish off the pears and the plums, and I will see you next time on the farm. So until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to vote for the, the farm sim map, it's going to be... Uh, up until the 13th of October and then it's going to be taken down and the winner 
will be announced and uh, we'll set a date for that to be uh, reset on the server um, so yeah uh, if you want to head if you want to have your vote head over to the Taffin Exile website and uh, be sure to vote on the straw poll there I'll leave it there guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and there's a great demand of biomass heating for wood chips great um, and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.